No, nope, that was not the right thing to do. Oh, we got him. Oh, wow, that wasn't so hard. I figured it was going to take at least a couple shotgun blasts. All right. Well, look at that. We just killed a bear. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and I just got back from a... Oh, look at this. Uh, from a loot run. And uh, did pretty good. Filled up the loot. Found a locked crate. Here's the uh, clip from that. Yeah, and uh, so I just got back, uh, just offloaded everything, and um, there is, uh, I think I heard a mountain lion up above us, so we're going to go see if we can get him, but before we do that, let's get our pantalones um, fixed up here. So what do we need for that? Um, six shards and six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I had mentioned in the last episode <coughs> to you guys that <coughs> I was going to get, uh, you know, that I eventually wanted to have two lockpicks. The funny thing about it is I had actually already made another one and had it in the chest and completely forgot about it. So I did have two. And now I have this extra one here, which is great. Okay, all the rest of our clothing is in really pretty damn good shape. So um, the thing where we need to make another chest, that's just all there is to it. We need to make another chest. So let's see about that um the chest requires 10 nails five boards and three cordage one two three uh one two three four five why do i keep clicking one extra one one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right let's make ourselves another storage chest and uh where do we want to put this one we don't want it in front of the door we learned that that is not a good idea. So I think what we might do, man, I wish we could get rid of these shrubs. What we might do with this one is, we do have a spawning spawn on there, right? Okay. What if we took the bed and put it um, maybe this way? Oh, is it not going to let us do that because uh, it's in its own way, so to speak? Let's try this again. Oh, I see what the problem is. I think it's just in too close a proximity of this, maybe? Well, no, maybe it's it's its self. It's it. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. Press end, not delete. Yeah, it was in its own way. Okay, so let's hold it we don't really want it clipping in there necessarily but let's put it there hmm, I still don't think that's going to give us enough room for the chest we could maybe <coughs> excuse me turn the chest sideways um, yeah yeah maybe we'll do that okay here let's put you there for the moment I'm just trying to you know Maximize space here until we do our, our real build. You know what? Though the problem with this is it's going to block the doorway, isn't it? Unless we clip it into the to the side a little bit, which I guess we could do. Yeah, let's just do that. So I'm going to go right about here with this one. Press end, not delete. I'll put this one here. And then the new one will go right next to the, the last one. And then we actually would have room to put more in if we wanted to as well. Um, just out a little more right there. Look at that. Okay, that works. We can still get in here. Beautiful. All right, so <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to store ammunition and ammunition stuff. Oh, my God. What did I just do? 
Oh, I just did a take all. Oh man, I hate it when that happens. Okay, let's just quickly throw everything back in here for a minute. I don't care what's going in there at the moment. I just want to make sure we get all of our stuff back here. Did anything... Man, gosh, I hope we didn't lose anything. Okay, so we're going to put supplies and equipment types of things in here. Right. We're going to put... Okay, so let's grab supplies and equipment types of things back out of here. The feathers kind of fill fill both of those roles. Maybe we'll keep the feathers in the ammo crate. Uh, let's see. Supplies, supplies, supplies. I mean, the, the nails kind of fill both roles, too, so maybe we'll keep these in here. Just to more evenly distribute things. Uh, we want the cotton, that, uh, and this, and the wood. Okay, so all of this stuff will go in here. You know what we could do, too, is let's see if we can maybe organize it a little bit better. Um, things that are much rarer we'll put down below. Uh, we'll put wood products on this row, cordage on this row, with fiber there, and this is kind of like cordage, so we'll keep that. Well, so is rope for that matter though, huh? Uh, all right, this is a special item, so let's keep that down below, and it's a rare item that we don't get a lot. Same thing with gears, so we'll keep the gears. We use uh, metal all of the time. We use cloth all the time, so maybe we'll keep the cloth in that spot. Uh, this is glass, which we rarely use. Pearls we don't use much. You know, actually, we do use the electronics quite a bit. Uh, these are rare. These are rare. Oh, wow, look at that. We already have a full stack of electronics in, then some. And this is glass, which is pretty rare. We use sticks a lot. That's a wood product. Uh, weapons parts. Uh, let's keep the weapon parts in the ammo crate too. So this is going to be kind of more like the weapons and ammo crate. All right. Uh, we'll pull that stuff back out of there. And then um, same kind of idea. We'll put casings there, gunpowder there, feathers here. Actually, let's switch those because feathers are really common. Um, nails can go there. Water does not go in there. Uh, we want to keep this ammo with us. Okay, now I have enough shotgun shells that I'm going to go ahead and keep some extras back at the base. That's the first time that's happened since we started, since I started playing this game, and I've had actually had extra ammo. It's unbelievable. Um, so I'm going to keep enough to have two full pistols, uh, you know, pistols, and then a full gun of everything else. We still need one more magnum to actually accomplish that, so let's actually do that now. Alright, cool. And then you can go back there, you can go back there. Like so. Alright, so this is nice and organized now. Uh, the hammer will stay in here too because we use it, you know, for repairing, so we'll just keep it on that row. Uh, we have an extra axe. Uh, yeah, we'll hang on to, to the spare axe. Why not? Let's do it. Now, this guy is our kind of our food and farming crate. Um, why don't we move our winter coat over to this crate? So this could be more like building and crafting. Is This is more like equipment and armor and ammo. Something to, to that effect. Something to that effect. I know some of this stuff crosses over, so we're not, we're not being absolutely anal about this. But, you know, we're trying to make it nice. Uh, okay, so this is a crafting item, uh, and a very rare one, so we'll, I guess we'll put that there. Uh, we're keeping water and stuff in here. Yeah, this guy's not very organized. Why don't we move the pole over to this chest as well? So we'll keep the pole down here. Um, this is all kind of like organic, you know, farming stuff and whatnot. This is... That's really more of a crafting item, too. It's a rare crafting item, but it's a crafting item. So we're going to put that down there. See, this stuff we're not going to uh, use a lot of, with the exception probably of the circuit boards. So when, there won't be a lot of moving around of these things, but this stuff will be moving around a lot more. That's just kind of my thought process here. Okay, up at the top, stuff we use a lot of are, yeah, basically all of this. 
oil. We'll keep our medicinal stuff here. And then water is constantly, you know, being used, utilized. And then uh, this we're going to throw in the bio thingamadoodle. And then, you know, we have seeds and ash down here. And what is this again? Oh, it's insect repellent. All right. Yeah, maybe we might have to try and use that at some point. I don't know if honey spoils or not in this game. All right. Very good. I think we're pretty reasonably well organized. Now, do I want to plant another crop? I think I do. I mean, we might as well, right? Um, so we got tomatoes, potatoes, and carrots, and onions. I don't really see much point in doing the medicinal plants. I mean, I, I pick so much of that out in the wild. Uh, well, I don't want to get rid of it, though. Okay, so yeah, let's plant here. Um, we're going to go all tomatoes first. That's the highest priority, and then probably carrots. That's all we had room for. All right, cool. Um, it is getting dark, so let's go ahead and turn the grow light on, and we're, yeah, we'll top off the water and the fertilizer too, because we can. Water and fertilizer. Okay. Very good. We'll put these guys back in here. The whole bottom row is ash. Uh, I use that also to make gunpowder. That's why I have two stoves, by the way. Uh, okay, we got a little more fat there and a little more fat there. We got to top these boys off or girls. They could be girl camp stoves. I mean, you never know or wood burning stoves split in half. I didn't check to see, you know, and I don't think I will. We'll just assume they're whatever the hell they are. Why am I even talking about this? It's ridiculous. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, there we are, man. There we are. Again, nails are crossover items. And feathers are too, but because we have more room in this crate, we'll keep that stuff in there. Let's throw these in here and keep that going. Keep building up that power. Uh, we do want to, um, you know, I, I have solar panels in our near future, wind turbines in our near future. So we want to get that stuff going. I don't even know what the lathe does. Crafts advanced mechanical items, but I'm sure we'll be doing something with that at some point. Um, BC range extender, no. Mining drill, that could be cool. Animal housing, maybe. Even that, another generator actually wouldn't be a bad idea, except for I just never have enough, really have enough fuel. Floodlight switch. Refinery, we already got all that stuff. A floodlight outside would be nice, but man, it uses an alloy sheet. That's kind of expensive, man. Um, yeah, okay, so what was I gonna do? Um, damn it. Oh, well, we're under attack now. Let's see what... It, are they actually out in front here? No, they're not. They can't get past our barrier. <laughs> oh, this is amazing, you guys. This is amazing. Screw you guys, man. Suck it, boys. Oh, it looks like our derpity derp guys are down there, too. Yeah, I think for now, especially because it's dark out and I can't see anything, let's just let them do their thing and we'll just go up and repair them when they're done. Uh, hopefully they don't completely destroy anything. It doesn't even really sound like they're hitting the base. Here, sorry guys, I'll get some light on. I'll, I'll put some gamma on this in, in editing. Uh, but they're not able to get through, so that is just absolutely beautiful. And they're throwing grenades and molotovs at the ground. Waste away, boys. Waste away. That might have nipped the base a little bit, but that one probably did. <laughs> uh, let, let's get our hammer. Like I said, I'd go out and fight them if I, if I could see them, but I can't, so... Um, if one of them, you know, if they do happen to break through, then of course we will go after them. Oh shit, I don't have any normal wood on me. Okay, well let's just use this to check damage. We won't be able to fix it right at the moment. Yeah, the foundations are really good. But what about the wall? Oh yeah, that wall did get hit. Probably by that last grenade that hit really close. Oh no, you know what? They are, they are hitting the, this end of the base a little bit. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, looks like they've buggered off, though. I don't hear anything more. 
So that is working just phantasmagorical. Absolutely wonderful. All right, so I need wood. Uh, absolutely need to go get some wood. Like, pronto. Oh, I know what I was going <clears> to <throat> say. What I want to start shooting for next is the double barrel. Um, it's actually a little bit cheaper, too, than the, the lever action. Um, mostly in... Yeah, just a tad cheaper in power and mass. Um, speaking of mass, let's take and throw this guy in here. And since I happen to have... Um, oh, I guess we already grabbed the fuel, didn't we? Okay. So since this is running, um, I'm going to actually turn this on and build it up to 200 mass because we're going to need that for the double barrel. Um, so we'll, let the, we'll, we'll start working towards that. Whether or not we'll, we can get to it immediately remains to be seen, uh, but we'll, we'll be working towards it. This doesn't actually use very much power, so that's not bad. Uh, plus, there's an upgrade. Well, already, yeah, there's an upgrade that reduces it by another 25%. Um, and it's really not that expensive, but I mean, it's already not, not using hardly any power at all to speak of. So, uh, what, how much, we already determined that this guy uses like 10, right? So we have 2.82 going out and wait, what? 2.73. Oh yeah. It uses points 10, not 10. Yeah. Duh. Okay. All right. So we have this running, and well, this is the thing that's really using the power here. But, you know, we don't run this all the time, of course. We just run it until we get the mass that we need to make whatever it is the next thing that we need to make. So, all right, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to let uh, cut the camera here, and I might try and go out and cut some water. I might wait till morning uh, to do that, and then uh, I'll bring it back in the morning. If the mountain lion's still up there, we'll go see if we can uh, nab him. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. I'm just getting a little bit more wood here. And uh, we're going to re go repair our wall, and then we're going to go after uh, the mountain lion. He is still up there. He's a little further away than he was the first time I spotted him, but hopefully we can make that work. I saw a grizzly <coughs> right over here, <coughs> so I'm just trying to be extra cautious. He must have wandered down around that way, I'm guessing. I don't want him sneaking up on us, man. No sir, Bob. Let's grab that, and we got an ore up here. Looks like iron, which is good. Sounds like our, our dudes are still down below derping out. That's fine. They can derp out all they want. Not my problem. At some point, we'll get to where we're every time they do that we're just gonna go shoot their ass but not quite ready for for that yet okay Let's grab a couple more trees and then we'll head over and do the repairs I gotta wash my hands too kill the wolf right before I start the camera just level one oh shit you know what um, actually, yeah, I just remembered. I left the, the mass fabricator on. I don't want to run the power out or the fridge will go out. Whew. Okay. Well, we have plenty of mass to make the, <laughs> to make the shotgun. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I remembered that. All right. Well, here, let's do this. Let's close that door. Um, I'm going to wash off. With that, put the steak in here and the carrots, and I think that's all I got to go in here. Oh, crap. We let the fire go out. Um, okay, so split this in half, split this in half, split this in half. I'm just going to light one fire for now. Um, no, let's just light them both so we can keep that ash going. Okay, so we got that done. Uh, we got a couple things to put in here. We'll put the that in there and the iron in here. We got enough to make another lock pick when the time comes. And then that, 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 not that, not those. These, and th nope, not those either. Now, I have to remember, man, we're all nice and neat and organized. Um, 
so this goes in there. That we're going to throw in the Ginny. That goes in there. Those go in there. We're keeping the nails with us for repair work. Um, what was I going to do? My brain. Br work, brain. Work. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, so let's do that. Okay, so you're rendering out some fat there. Throw you in. Here, we might as well start it. There's no reason not to. Three. Two. And one. Still only gave us two. Okay. Alright, let's go do some repairs. We'll hit the these first because again first line of defense and all that uh, that's good that one's so good I don't think I'm gonna even mess with it that one's good this one needs some taps uh, this one we'll just do one tap on that and one tap on that not so bad yeah our derpity derps are over there I don't really want to mess with them right now Okay, and then we had a couple hits kind of on this side of the building. You know, remember, I'm going to put walls up there soon. So when that happens, you know, then it's going to be even harder for them to lob stuff over at the base. The foundations are actually pretty damn good. Uh, that's not too bad. That deserves a tap. That one's good. Door's good. Oh. And yeah, we had a couple up here that took some, uh, took a little bit of a pounding. We'll hit that. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I, you know what? Screw it. Let's just repair the whole thing. Let's just get it all the way repaired. We might as well. We got the nails. I mean, I want to use the nails for other things too, but. Got keeping things in good repair is very important. Yes, indeed. So one tap there. That's so close, I don't think I'm going to waste a nail on it. What about this? Yeah, that looks good. Let's check our little roof pieces here. That's good. That's good. And that's good. Okay. So we're going to grab this and... Let's just top these guys off. I'm going to keep... Split. I'm going to keep 10 wood here, just straight up wood. And then we're going to turn the rest of these into planks. Okay. I'm going to keep the lock pick in here for now because we're going to go after that uh, cougar. And I don't want to risk losing any of this stuff. Okay, I think we're good to go. We'll put the hammer in here. All right, let's go see if we can bag ourselves a cougar. How are we doing on nutrition? Oh, yeah, we better pay attention to that. How about three livers? That should get us all the way up to the top. Let's go five blueberries. And we need a drink, so we'll drink that. We have to keep those with us so we can fill them up later. Uh, let's drink another one, too. Okay. We're in very good shape. All right, let's go look for that cougar. All right, let's draw him away. I don't want to waste ammo on a bear. I mean, not that that's a waste, but it's just going to take a lot of ammo to kill him, and I'd rather save it for the mountain lion. Come on, Barney. Okay, that should be far enough away. There's a rabbit there. But we're going to leave the rabbit alone for now. We're after bigger game today. We got some crates. Let's grab those first. So the further away this dude is from our, our blind, the more dangerous this endeavor becomes. 
Um, see a crate up here? Thought maybe I did, but sometimes the ferns just make it look like a crate. Okay, let's go back towards our blind. Uh, it's just the wolf, I think. We'll hit the grub tree. Okay. So, there is a crate up here, but the, the mountain lion's kind of up in this area, so we need to listen for him. There he is, right there. Huh, okay. So we have to... We have to figure out how we can squeeze a shot off on him uh, and still be able to get back to the blind in time. Easy to do. Easy peasy. Not a problem at all. Yeah, right. So what level is this dude? So level two. Did he aggro us or did he just start tracking us? Kind of afraid to look. I think he aggroed us, which is or tracked us, which is good because it gets him pulls him a little closer. Oh yeah, perfect. We might be able to get our first shot off on him. Right from up here if he just comes a little further. Come on, buddy. It's just right up over the hill there. Very much like to get a headshot if we can. Just a little further this way, bub. Hmm. Okay, let's just wait a second to see what he does. See if he comes any closer this direction. I'm going to go back closer to him. He's right there. I wonder if we could get him to, again, track us. Just to get him a little closer to the blind. I mean, I could get a pretty good headshot right there, but... Do this right. Okay. I think he's coming towards us now. Come on, bud. Oh, there he is. Okay. There, we got him that time. He doesn't see us. How in the hell was that missing? Got him. Okay. Whew. Level two. Look at that. A full inventory. And five sinews. We'll take it. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for your sacrifice, and thank you for not eating me in the process. Look at those morons down there. We need to get a frickin' grenade and just throw it and kill them. Okay. So we got the cougar killed. I wasted a couple of shots, but I just I didn't have a really clear line of sight. Um, or I just have potato aim. You guys decide. I'll let you decide what the truth is there. Just looking to see if there are any other wolves or maybe even a level one bear around that we could take out while we're bloody before I wash off here. Oh, 
We don't want to go that direction because that's where that other hunter cap is. Though we are going to go... We are going to go raid their ass, though. Those guys and the dudes by the pond uh, are definitely going to get what's coming to them. And eventually the big, the big base will, too, but... We're going to kind of leave them be for now. Okay. We do have a bear over here. Let's go see what level he is. I don't think I've... I can't... I don't remember deliberately killing a bear in this series. I've killed a couple of them because I had to. You know, they were chasing me and whatnot. I don't know if I've actually gone after a bear deliberately. He's a level 2 and he's 150 hit points. He's probably got some pretty decent... resources on him. <coughs> Should we try this, guys? I'm at, I'm at full health, right? Yeah, and I got a health kit. Alright, no. Turn this way so we can get a solid headshot off on you. Well, that was not the right thing to do. Oh, we got him. Oh, wow, that wasn't so hard. I figured it was going to take at least a couple shotgun blasts. All right. Well, look at that. We just killed a bear. Deliberately killed a bear. <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh, come on. Really, game? An animal that's this large has that many hit points, and this is all you give us? That seems a little out of balance man seems a little out of balance I'm just gonna throw that out there you know when you kill an animal that's four or five times as large and heavy as a wolf and you get the same amount of shit out of it that's bullshit that is absolute bullshit I'm just gonna throw that out there oh well it is what it is the good news is we well actually I did waste a rifle shot on him which is not good but that's the way it went down, man. That is the way it went down. Is there any, like, just a, a wolf we could take out to before we wash our hands? I don't want to wait too much longer on the hands. Uh, Alright, there's something. Yeah, I think I see a wolf over there. Get ourselves a little f more fat so we can keep that generator running and get our power built back up now that we have enough. He's a level two. I can kill a level two with the pistol. It takes about four shots in an arrow. Well, I have to actually hit him, you know, if I want to take him out. And that was five shots, but I missed one. So, yeah, there you go. Okay. At least he didn't infect us, right? That's the good. That's the bright side. All right. Any more wolves around? I'm pushing my luck now. So we, our hands have been bloody since we butchered the cougar. I really want to get that fat. It's so important. So, so important. There's a crate. Okay, well, let's, uh... Oh, I guess I don't have any water on me. Damn. <laughs> we do need to get back now. I thought I had some water on me. I mean, I do have an antidote if we get infected, but I don't want to get infected because then we have to make a new antidote. That's no fun. Okay, yeah, let's head back. We're going to make a beeline for the base. We will stop for crates if we see any, of course. Or another wolf if we see another one. Wash them hands 
drink some water because we need to and then we're gonna grab all of our canteens and fill them up okay so we we have four fat in total let's just throw the liver in here for now we'll eat one fish fillet and a tomato just to keep all of that under control put that that in there that in there Um, what else goes in here? The grub goes in here. Feathers and all that goes in there. And the nails. So we have 48 nails. That's pretty good. Five more sinew. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, so that gives us a total of 12 sinew. This can all go in its place. Let's uh, grab all the wood we have. Split these in half. I need to have a day where I do nothing but just chop wood all freaking day long. You know? I mean, we'd still pick up crates and other resources, but our focus would be chopping trees like there's no tomorrow, you know? Uh, okay. I have matches in there. We need to put matches in here. Let's grab this out and this out. Uh, actually, let's put this fertilizer right on in here. And, oh shit, we need water for that too. Okay. Grab some fat, throw it in here, get this going. How are we doing on our power? Alright, so we're only at 500, so yeah, we have to get it up to 2,000 before we can make the double barrel. Uh, Alright, so yeah, we need to get some water. I'm going to put these in there. And I think I'll leave the lockpick in here for now. I'm trying to debate if I want to do a little fishing, but we don't really need to right now. We have, you know, we've got 15 of the medicinal tonic, so we're actually in really good shape with that stuff right at the moment. I don't, I mean, fishing for food is great too, but the main reason why I fish is for oil uh, to make that stuff, so. All right. Uh, where are we at on time? I think we're actually probably out of time in this episode now that I think about it. So, yeah, I think I'll let you guys go here. I'm going to go. I might actually do that. I might spend the whole entire day tomorrow just doing nothing but chopping trees. We will still, of course, pick up crates and resources as we come across them. But we're not. We're going to focus on just cutting wood. So, if that goes well, when we come back in the next episode, I would like to have a full an, uh, one. I think it's a 200. I think it's 200. A full stack of wood at least. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, take a look at the join button. <coughs> Let's try. What the hell, man? Uh, take a look at the join button, too, if you're interested in a membership on the channel. We do have some perks, the best one being that you can play on our multiplayer servers with my amazing old guy gaming community. Okay, guys, see you later. Bye-bye.